Alright, so you're probably looking at me thinking I'm slacking, and you're probably not far off. But, I don't know, what can I say? These things are just so distracting. <laughs> but at the same time, they're kind of amazing, too. The hump with how much they can do nowadays. I would have never expected that, like, 5, 10, 15 years ago, as long as I'd been alive. But the crazy thing is that my first experience... With, a f with something like a smartphone, wasn't a smartphone at all. But to kind of give you a better idea of what that might be, I think I need to get off campus and kind of show you. So let's do that. <laughs> thing never could make phone calls in the first place, but for someone like 13, 14 year old me, something like this was perfect to have at the time. Uh, in, in a world where it wasn't necessary for me to just have a full-on smartphone, this thing could do anything that we wanted out of a smartphone besides make calls and texts. You can still watch YouTube on it. You can still play plenty of games. I have all sorts of old games from the era that are bringing me back, honestly. But this thing serves its purpose well. And even looking back on it now, it still does exactly what it's designed to do. It's just that the funny thing is, is now it's a relic. It, it's the passage of time, really. I mean, and just with comparing it to like my phone now, for example, it just looks so much older and I think that's just because that's what we've come to expect now out of phones. Now that I'm uh, back in my home down, why don't we go and do some comparisons outside of my bedroom. about the time that I would have used this thing the most and I figured that this would be the perfect place to kind of reminisce about how I used to use this thing and the kind of how much different it was to use in, compared to like the phone I have nowadays. I can, I can tell you right off the bat that trying to use the camera on this thing is so much worse. I mean I didn't have much to compare it to at the time to be fair. It's just you can definitely tell the difference. It's, it's literally a night and day difference. But, you know, I didn't have much to compare it to at the time. This was standard. It, unless I wanted to get something like a professional video camera. That was, that, this is what we were dealing with at the time. Just for fun too, this is what happens if I try to use the selfie camera on this thing, which I think is equally just as bad. But I mean, it, does, it still does the job, I guess. Shows me that my hair's a mess. And the other thing too is that back when I was using this, there was no data. There was no 4G, there was no 3G. It was all Wi-Fi. And considering my middle school probably wouldn't have let me use the Wi-Fi at the time, I was basically completely disconnected until I got home. So any social media that I started to do, I believe I started Instagram around then. It's just... It was completely, completely different. And it's just, it's so jarring to think about, really. A couple other things I noticed too. The battery on this certainly isn't what it used to be. I had this on the charger right before I came to the, the school and we're already at 20%, but I guess that's to be expected. 
The other thing that I didn't actually seem to remember is that when we're outside, this is much more difficult to see than something like my phone might be. It's not even, it's not even like a totally sunny day, and it, the brightness is cranked up pretty much all the way, and we're having issues seeing it. But it still runs down the road, so we do have that. Something I have to keep in mind with comparing my current phone and my old iPod though is that at the time that this thing was made, it did exactly what I needed it to do. It could run the latest games, it could take pictures if a little bit rudimentary, it could play music. Something I really, really wanted was my own music library and I finally had that and it was so great. And it was just able to do all of these things and it did it well. And trying to compare it to more modern standards, like trying to do video chat, trying to do uh, the latest version of Instagram, or trying to get it to do Snapchat, or trying to run some newer games, or just trying to get it to do the modern internet. It's almost not even fair, even if it is a little funny to try to get it to work. It wasn't made to do that. And so if I have to give it credit for anything, that after all these years, all the things that it was designed to do, it still does them and it still does them well enough if it's not blocked by how far we've moved by in the last five years or so. So that has been the most fun about this video for me, is trying to look back and see what this thing can do and thinking about where we've gone in tech and where this thing stands nowadays. And I think it's time for me to head back to campus, but I think I'll definitely be taking this back with me just as a reminder. So thanks for joining me on this odd little journey of mine. I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you enjoyed it to some extent. But until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>